Small batch jams are fun and easy to make. Today we'll be making three varieties that you can serve with our homemade crumpets and your favorite Canadian cheese. In the first saucepan, mix three cups of rhubarb cut into pieces, add some honey and ground cinnamon. In the second saucepan, mix some strawberries, some sugar and Chinese five spice powder. In the third saucepan, mix three cups of blueberries with some maple syrup and a small sprig of fresh rosemary. Bring the saucepans to a boil and cook on medium-high heat for 15 to 20 minutes. While that's simmering, we'll make our homemade crumpets. We'll start by preparing the dough. In a saucepan, heat one cup of milk with some water until steaming but not boiling. In a bowl, mix some unbleached all-purpose flour with quick-rising instant yeast, a pinch of salt, and some sugar. Remove the milk from the heat and gradually pour into the flour mixture while whisking vigorously. Cover with a clean dish towel and let the dough rise for 30 minutes. The jams have been simmering for 20 minutes. Transfer them into jars and let them cool before refrigerating them. The dough has risen. Using semi-salted butter, rub the inside of 3-inch diameter pastry rings. Heat a non-stick skillet on medium heat and place the rings on it. Add a little butter inside and scoop about a quarter cup of batter into each ring. Cook for seven to eight minutes. Turn the crumpets over and continue cooking for three to four minutes. Remove the rings, transfer the crumpets on a wire rack to cool and repeat the steps with the remaining dough. There's nothing more satisfying than Canadian cheese paired with our homemade jams and crumpets. Canadian Brie combines beautifully with the rhubarb jam over our crumpets. A slice of Canadian Havarti topped with the strawberry jam makes a perfect pair. Canadian aged cheddar is my favorite choice to go with the blueberry jam. Try these delicious combinations or experiment with your own favorite Canadian cheeses.